a pivotal game five here in the Edmonton versus Vancouver Canucks series that will be taking place in Vancouver. I've got Callum Hawker with me today and we're going to be talking a little bit about everything you need to know about this pivotal game five coming up in Vancouver. And so thank you so much for being with me today, Callum. And uh, we'll start with talking about the big news coming out of Edmonton. Calvin Pickard gets the nod to start again after getting the big win in game four in place of Stuart Skinner. The Oilers have also been spectacular on the power play throughout the whole series, as well as Evan Bouchard getting both of the game-winning goals in the two games they've won so far. Just other thoughts on this Oilers team and how they've been looking so far in this playoff series. Yeah, I think there's two things really, Thomas, and it's coming back to goaltending. You know, we've really kind of talked about this with the Oilers for quite some time now, and Pickard played phenomenal, played phenomenal in that game four, and you know, expected to have another, uh, you know, big game here in game five. But also that power play, almost at a 50% clip scoring on that power play. One of the best in history, honestly, when you're talking about playoff hockey. And this series as a whole has just been great. Even if you aren't a fan of either of these teams, it's been some of the most electric hockey, uh, or playoff hockey actually, in recent memory. So it's been great. And if uh, Edmonton you know, can keep on putting those pucks in the net on, on the power play, they have a great chance of coming out here and, and, and like you said, a big game five. Big game five, and as mentioned, Picker getting his second start gets the win in his first ever playoff start. Now we'll talk about Vancouver. They get Carson Soucy, a former member of the elite program here in Lloydminster, originally from Irma, Alberta. He gets to go back into the defensive core for the Canucks. They've got a great defensive core with Quinn Hughes, a Norris Trophy finalist. You know, you got the big man, Tyler Myers. Lots of great, uh, great decor. What other things have you really liked from Vancouver in this series? Really kind of just attacking in that final frame in the third period. And I don't know if that's more of kind of Edmonton's kind of collapse in the, in the recent, uh, recent games here. But they've really played phenomenal in that third period. Uh, super physical as well. Nikita Zadorov, as you were saying about the deep pairing or the decor, he's been phenomenal. As soon as he's come into Vancouver, he's gritty, plays passionately, and uh, really just a big playoff presence when uh, you're talking about physicality. Awesome. And so finally, Calum, what are, your, what are you thinking for this pivotal game five? What's your quick score, score predict? I think it's going to be another close one, Thomas. We've seen four very close games so far in this series. A lot of physicality. Uh, I think it's going to go to overtime. I think it's going to be a 4-3 overtime win for Edmonton. Uh, but really, it could go either way here. Fantastic. I think I agree. It's going to be a very close game, especially here to finish out the series. I'm going 3-2 for Edmonton, hopefully in regulation, but we'll see. But you definitely don't want to miss this fantastic Alberta versus BC rivalry here in the NHL playoffs.